Right, ladies and gents, uh, I'll probably do this as a separate little film now. Um, I was having a little mooch about as you do on the old uh, eBay, internet, Amazon, um, and I come across this. Um, it's a torch, ladies and gentlemen. Um, rechargeable um, and uh, I've got it for a very reasonable price so I'll tell you how much I've got it for he's selling them for 19 or uh, make me an offer I made him an offer of 18 quid and he accepted and I bought it one reason I bought it there's a couple of reasons is um, it's that's how big it is in my hand you can tell how big it is uh, I'll do the weight when I get home and put it on like one of the pictures at the finish a um, few things I like about this one it's a really bright torch about uh, 300 and 400 lumens but as you see there you have to press and hold and that um, the on off button the on off button isn't sort of too proud so it's not going to come off but you have to press hold and then it comes on after about you know one or two seconds you can cycle through it it's got the low high and um, obviously the SOS function to it and when you want to turn it off you have to press and hold it um, I like to have a multi-purpose kit um, I say it's none too heavy, feels very solid in the hand. I've had it in a bucket of water, uh, it, 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 I can guarantee it is waterproof. Uh, left it overnight and I left it on overnight and that as well because I'll give it one charge up to see what it can do. Now, uh, a couple of things on this, especially for people who drive the lorries uh, like Barking Badger, uh, Northeast Bushcrafter, and anybody who's got a bug out vehicle, absolutely brilliant little bit of kit. If you have this near you so you can get to it, and you know when you're strapped into your seat and I, I thought about the sun visor you know a couple of bits of elastic around there uh, so it'd be on the top of your sun visor if that makes sense so you can just reach up and get it because the two reasons one when you pull that off it comes with a nice lanyard that protective rubber cap comes off and if you can see there gents just make sure I'm in shot there is a glass breaker at the back of it and it's got the thing's got enough heft so you could you could punch your way through glass if you um, went to somebody who was injured you know upturned car grab hold of this as you get out your cab or, 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 or your vehicle uh, and um, it's got a proper um, glass breaker on that nice little rubber cover on there that doesn't drop it's attached to the lanyard and I thought hey ho that's nice but and as you can see in here ladies and gents there is a seat belt cutter in there um, can't injure yourself you have to literally get it in there and pull down and that'd be ever so nice to have um, if you're going to assist somebody who's um, in a crash vehicle or you need to get yourself out of a crash vehicle now now there's a torch okay it's been under the water um, you recharge it but one thing I really really like about this um, and I like to have different reasons is because one of the original reasons um, I was searching was for a phone charger and I eventually bought a torch and you might be now thinking that's a bit strange there mate but I'll just give you a complete demonstration of the movement anyway there's my phone and as yet they probably are out there I've not seen I've seen um, you know phone chargers which are roughly you know sort of that big and they have a little light on them a little LED light but what particularly impressed me about this one was that comes off as one unit and when we look in here we've got a USB port and a charging port okay and a set of LED lights so I've never seen a torch do this and this is a torch that will charge your phone not the other way around i.e. that goes on there goes in the, goes in the bottom of the phone turn it on there and literally does nothing until you press the torch and the torch comes on and as I can see now I am charging my phone I'll try and zoom in a little bit for you no it's not coming out um, but there you go ladies and gents I am uh, charging the phone I've charged this phone this will be the third time now on the specifications from it like I said I think it's about 380 lumens 
um, it says it will charge an iPhone 5 or 6 four times which I think is a, a, a cracking bit of news so if you're in a vehicle you're miles from anywhere boom something happens you can get out of the vehicle because you can smash your way out or you can help somebody else who's in a crash and you've gone to their assistance um, <coughs> you don't have to have it in your vehicle either um, but um, I think this is uh, three, three, three for one a torch bloody good torch Dave was quite impressed with it and he's a, a, a good sort of a judge of kit because uh, I was actually looking for a battery charger and I found this which is a torch that will charge my battery should I need it to do so and apparently it, can, it, can, it will do an iPhone um, five times sorry four times I've had that in a bucket water all night and last night so that was a night before I've had it about four days again it's not it's just a quick look see there's not I don't think there's much that can go wrong with it it's a solid old torch um, and then left it on all night and my wife turned it off this morning it, this thing lights up the whole front room um, just left on the table um, then she come down and turned it off because uh, it was annoying so I've charged this will be the third phone charge and it's been on like for about seven hours last night so ladies and gents um, obviously let your eyes be your guide 19 pound 99 or the one guy I got it off um, make me an offer and I got that for 18 quid so I've got a spanking torch uh, an escape tool and something that will charge up that phone four times when I'm out in the field so I'm quite impressed by that and uh, if I come across something that's half decent so I like to just let everybody know about it no affiliations to the seller um, I don't hold shares in the company but it's a nice little bit of kit so hopefully um, if you like what you see let your eyes be the guide and of course as I always do ladies and gents I'll drop the link into that phone and charger an escape tool um, so should you wish to go and have a look and uh, like I say it lets them go for 18 quid as opposed to 20 so take care ladies and gents and I hope that's been of use to you I very much impressed by this bit of kit multi-purpose many reasons to carry it I can either make the decision I have long lasting light or I can emergency phone me uh, charge me phone up and I don't think there's any car in the UK that probably wouldn't want to want, want, wouldn't want one of these but as I say it's no use having it in the glove compartment and so forth it's got to be near so if anything happens to you in the vehicle um, you can literally it's got to be within arm's distance and like I say um, if I was going to rig this up in my vehicle or my wife's vehicle I'd just put it um, you know under the sunshade that drops down two bits of elastic hold it underneath but yeah ladies and gents the old torch let's have a look it's still charging um, as you know it came with this lever it fits my phone these that you know that if you've got a, one of these funny you know um, non-descript phones then you know that the actual charging lead only costs a pound like I said I charged it up from the wall socket just using a normal um, USB port into that and obviously into the wall so that's how I charged that up anyway ladies and gents um, I'm quite impressed by that uh, like I said it's got the latest LEDs inside there a cracking little bit of kit so uh, my new torch so ladies and gents take care right ladies and gents um, as I say it's got uh, at the back it's got a nice little rubber cover on it flick flick and it comes off and you've got the um, obviously gla gla glass breaker there so uh, I'll give it a little bit of a bit of a test no use having something if you don't use it first time we want to use it and it break, breaks it's no good so kind of as hard as I can do it I'm actually digging it into the ground now okay there ladies and gents seems to work that's not damaged in any way proof in the pudding press hold and light comes on press hold and light goes off and you can cycle for it by just giving it short stabby ones all right then um, didn't mean to bring a bit of nylon strapping out with me but uh, 550 paracord again first time I'm going to use it let's just see if it'll cut through that and that's there so you need to be watching here gents pull it out so it's torn oh yes actually it's got no problem going through that whatsoever oh yes oh. I'm impressed I'm going to do that again <laughs> 
it's going through this I've, I've got no doubts it will uh, do some seat belt again make sure I'm in shot and again grab hold of it I'm gonna run it down so it will find that anyway eh? oh not the camera again another one having no problem and that's underneath there so that's not going to injure you in any way yeah I've got no problems with that um, I'm sure that I cut through a piece of seatbelt material no way and what I did like as I dragged it down it kind of engaged the slot quite automatically yeah ladies and gents so apart from picking that paracord up um, I think that's done on there give it a few more smacks and that is a hard bit of wood Wood on, I think. As you can see, I'm not mucking about with it. And again, we'll just give it a final test. Press. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And again, probably there's a torch somewhere that will charge up your iPhone or your phone about four times. Obviously, it's going to drain your battery down. Um, but inside there, didn't mean to show you there are four LED lights there and they come up to you how much charge you've got left into it so there's four of them I presume that's for four phone charges like I say you've got all the other attachment points in there ladies and gents there's the top nice LED light in there uh, and that's very very bright I must admit I think it's about something like 380 lumens right ladies and gents uh, yeah well, I'm quite happy with that 18 quid job done don't have to be flashing or fancy, uh, seems to get the job done and uh, doesn't cost a great deal. Take care.